All right, guys, so we're uh, working on the 175C again here. And if you've seen my other videos, you know I'm making a bunch of, uh, I'm doing a bunch of maintenance on this. I'm making a bunch of videos on this as I go. Um, this is an International Harvester uh, 175C. It's a 1972 model. I picked it up about a month ago, uh, maybe a little more, and I've had some issues out of that pilot control valve, which is the shifter valve. Uh, and when I was uh, having issues with that, I had it had it off and uh, worked on three different times. Uh, third time was a charm, uh, so it's now shifting like it should and it's functioning like it should. Everything seems to be good on it. Uh, but while I was doing that, to make sure the problem wasn't dirt in the uh, transmission lines, I changed out this uh, transmission filter. So if if you've seen my other videos, you may have seen that one. And in that one, I did not have the loader up in the air, and I had a heck of a time reaching around that bar because it was down here. So I was really crawling over top of that thing, had a heck of a time getting in there to change this filter. <laughs> Now that I've got the loader up, I'm going to be able to get into this filter and change it again. Uh, and I'm doing this just to be safe. That probably doesn't have, I'm going to guess, 25 or 30 minutes runtime on it. But I just changed all the, uh, uh, the transmission fluid. And just to be safe that I wasn't circulating a bunch of nasty stuff, I'm going to change that again. It calls for a Napa Gold uh, 1468. That's what I put in it last time. Fit great. That's actually what was in it when I got it. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do again. So um, essentially this is just a, it's a canister. Um, it's a pressurized, uh, this is the pressurized side. So uh, it's a heavy duty canister. It's got one bolt on the end of it. I'm going to uh, unthread this bolt and it runs the length of the whole thing. Pull that off. There's a... Uh, a cartridge filter on a spring and it's sealed at the top here with an o-ring now if you saw my last video uh, I pulled that o-ring out and they actually they give you one I haven't looked in this box but the last filter I bought they give you an o-ring with it uh, but it was no way gonna work yeah this is the same thing it's a flat little thin thing um, I don't know exactly what that's supposed to fit or what that's supposed to work with uh, but it definitely won't work with this machine. So uh, when I pulled that O-ring out last time, it's a big, heavy, thick bastard. And I was picking at it, and I was poking at it with a screwdriver to get it out. Uh, and so I thought, you know what? Because I was picking and prodding and poking, um, you know, last time I didn't know that that O-ring was not going to work in there. So by the time I pulled it out, it had some pick marks on it and stuff. So I thought, you know what? When I change the filter out again, I'll just order me an uh, O-ring for it. So this is the Komatsu uh, Genuine Parts here. Um, this machine is an international harvester, and actually you can see the emblem's been painted over there. Uh, this is from 1972. Well, IH got bought out by Dresta, or Dresser. Uh, depends on who you talk to, how they want to pronounce it. Um, they got bought out uh, by Dresser. And so then this 175C was a dresser model for a long time, and, you, and that's a pretty common model too. You'll see it's essentially it's the same thing with a different name on it. Uh, and then dresser got bought out by Komatsu. So you go to Komatsu for parts for this thing. So anyhow, that's the part number for the O-ring. If you guys are working on a 175C, uh, that's the one you want. And this... Uh, Napa Gold uh, 1468, that's going to be the uh, cartridge filter that goes in it. So I'll update you here in a minute when I get in there. All right, guys, so you can see I got it apart here. Uh, just unthreaded that bolt, and that canister slid off. That's the old filter. Just pop the old filter out, stuck the new one on there. There is a spring on that bolt down there, so make sure you don't lose your spring. Make sure it stays seated down on the bolt as far as you can. Um, so that's the... That's the filter in there, and uh, you can see the new O-ring in there. It's kind of grayish against that background, that black background. So uh, the old one just popped right out. Took a pick and a little screwdriver and popped it out. It's actually not in bad shape, but, you know, just to be safe, I'm going to replace it. So uh, pop the new one right in there, and now it's just a matter of sticking that canister back on there, threading it on, and... Uh, I'll update you here after I get that slid on there. Well, there you go, guys. Got the uh, thing all threaded back together. Pretty simple there. Uh, just 
you know put pressure on it the bolt is kind of hard to turn that there's a washer on the end of that bolt uh, that's actually it's a seal so uh, it's like rubber so it's really tight it's hard to turn that bolt by hand so you end up having to turn it with a ratchet as you're pushing in on the canister um, but then there's also a torque spec on that on that bolt and the torque spec is I think the range is 63 to 68 so I torqued it to 65 foot pounds and I'm just using a regular uh, cheap old Harbor Freight or clicker style whatever um, so anyhow that's how you change the uh, transmission filter on a 175 C crawler loader so if you guys like this video click the like button um, if you want to see more videos like this I'm doing all kinds of maintenance on this machine so uh, click that subscribe button and you'll get to see everything as I'm uploading it uh, the next thing I think I'm gonna do while I'm here I think on the next video I'm going to be doing the uh, fuel filters. There's a, a, a primary and a secondary fuel filter on this machine. So uh, click that subscribe button and you'll uh, see that video coming up. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Any questions or comments leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll catch you on the next video.